So let's talk about it. Rogel, Rogel Aguilero Landeros. He's the truck driver who got 110 years for losing his brake system and hitting cars and causing a fiery explosion. And so truck drivers are now standing against Colorado. They won't go into Colorado. They won't take deliveries into Colorado. People can't get by on the highway because trucks are blocking it up. Let me tell you why I stand behind these truckers. One, I'm a trucker. Two, that sentence is ridiculous. Three, they charged him with 27 different counts. Therefore, the sentencing had to be on all of those accounts instead of charging him consecutively and running his sentence consecutively. That's ridiculous and redundant. So let me just explain to y'all how it goes when it comes to the brake system. I'm gonna show y'all a little something. Right here is where you can tell when you're losing brakes. These right here, one, two. This is how it tells you how much air you have in the system. Truck brakes don't work like car brakes. They run by air. So if you're coming down a mountain and you keep hitting your brakes, you're losing air. Let me show you how it sounds. You hear that? That's losing brakes. That's losing your air in your brakes. In order to know that, you would have to been trained to know that, or the person, whoever was in the truck, who, who wherever you got your CDL, should have taught you that. Some of y'all might say, oh, he passed a runaway ramp. For y'all who don't know who a runaway ramp is, it's a ramp that allows you to go down there and stop your truck when you lose your brakes. I'm not sure if he could have got to that runaway ramp, though. And I'm sure when he heard that buzzer, when that air went all the way low, I'm sure he got scared. To run in the mountains, you got to know how to run in the mountains. I've been in the game a long time, and I still hate the mountains. In fact, I don't run through Colorado for that very reason, because of the mountains. I'd rather go all the way out of my way just to run up and down 40 to go in and out of California, Colorado, 40 to 25. I don't care. I don't like going through the mountains. What happened to him could happen to any of us. Any one person in the trucking field. So every trucker should be outraged. But the sentence every person in America should be outraged by. That man wasn't drunk, he wasn't negligent, he wasn't any of that. He just didn't know what to do to stop his truck. Now, an experienced driver knows to go in the mountains, you need to be in the lowest gear if you drive in a standard, and then you need to set your cruise control and ride your jake brake. Or retarders for y'all who old school. But a new driver wouldn't have known that. And there's no way you can know it. Ain't no signs to tell you, ain't no book to tell you. It's just something you need to know. I ain't going into Colorado either. I stand with him.